Hi, in this lesson, we continue doing our competitive research using the organic research report. There are lots and lots of benefits to using the report. It enables you to analyze your competitors, organic keyword rankings, and top performing pages. You can also see where your competitors lose positions to turn this into an opportunity of outperforming them. You can also find your new rivals to expand your knowledge of your competitive environment. You can examine your competitors on a subdomain level to get insights into their content strategy as well. Of course, there's many other functions that you may want to explore on your own. Now, let's take a look at how it works. All webmasters use Google Search Console and Google Analytics to see their own top performing pages. But when it comes to analyzing your competitors, our domain analytics is definitely a good choice. Enter your competitor's domain and click the search button. Then choose your target country. First of all, you'll see the estimated traffic in the keyword trends. They show the month to month dynamics of the traffic volume and the number of keywords over the last 12 months by default. Almost every month Google updates take place and all of them are logged in notes below the trend graphs. Then there are the following list, top organic keywords, top position changes, SERP features, top pages, top subdomains, and main organic competitors. All these lists lead to specific reports. We'll start with the positions report. Scroll down until you see the top organic keywords list and click view full report. Now let's analyze the organic search positions table. These are the keywords your competitor is ranking for, sorted by traffic share by default. You can sort and filter keywords by any parameter you want. Pay your attention to such metrics as volume and keyword difficulty. Volume is a monthly average number of searches for a given term. Keyword difficulty is an estimation of how hard it is to outrank your competitors when targeting for a certain organic keyword. You can apply more than one filter at once. For your convenience, we made the list customizable. You can change the order of the columns and remove them so that you'll be able to focus on the data that's important to you. This way, you will find the most realistic keywords to rank for with the highest traffic they could possibly bring. If you want to dive deeper into your competitor strategy, take a look at our position changes report. It shows your competitors new keywords as well as those they have lost over time. You'll also be able to see their keyword dynamics, meaning the keywords that they have improved their positions for as well as those keywords that weren't doing a good job. By sorting the improved or declined keywords list by the different metric, you'll be able to see keywords that improved or decreased their rankings within the considered month accordingly. Let's take a look at the report called competitors. There's a list of competitors of the analyzed website based on their common keywords and their overall number of keywords. Above the list, you can see a competitive positioning map where X axis reflects the number of keywords and Y axis shows the organic traffic volume. You can see common keywords in more detail by the number of common keywords. You will fall through to the report called Keyword Gap, which we will consider in the next lesson. We'll go directly to the Pages report now. There you will see your competitors' best performing pages sorted by traffic share. You can see the keywords that a page is ranking for by clicking on the keywords count. There is a similar report for subdomains, which provides similar information as well. In some cases, when your competitor concentrates on promoting a certain URL in organic search, analyzing it could be more insightful than analyzing a domain as a whole. So, select the As URL option to find the information on the organic keywords, monthly traffic, and the estimated traffic cost for a specific URL. This data will unveil your rival's strategy regarding this URL. Like similar reports, this one allows you to apply various filters to refine your research. A similar report can be pulled for subdomains. You just need to select the appropriate option in the drop-down list to the right of the organic research search bar. To sum up, to carry out an investigation of a specific website, finding its top competitors, getting a list of its top performing keywords it's ranking for, and analyzing the SEO efforts being made by your competitors, you want to use the organic research report. Play around with the report on your own and you'll see how easy it really is to find new keywords to rank for and discover competitors you should be aware of. Also, as always, see the Read Further section, go to SEMrush blog 
or our knowledge base for more information.